Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Vicky here and today I am part of a fun event. So this is uh, one of the stops from the New Day Card Kit Block Hub by Alte New. If you want to take a look on what's inside the kit, I have already done a video last week and you will find a link down below. There is also a giveaway on my blog, so make sure to go there and leave me a comment. But there are also even more giveaways along the way of the blog hub, so make sure to visit everybody. I'm going to create three different cards. All of them are super easy to create. I'm using uh, lots of pattern paper included in the kit and I will not use any products outside of the kit. So for my first card, I'm going to pick up one of the pattern papers and my favorite from this uh, pad is uh, the one with the map, which is actually watercolored. I think it's so beautiful. I have used a, a rectangle frame to cut out a panel. And uh, from the die cuts that are included in the kit, I chose to go with that uh, round one that says, uh, you mean the world to me. And there is a hole in this uh, tag. So you can thread uh, a string like uh, I'm doing here and this is going to add an extra texture on my card. I used foam squares at the back to add a little bit of dimension and I'm going to place it on one of the corners making sure that it uh, comes a little bit out of the corner so I can use my scissors to cut out the excess. I always like to have elements that go outside of my main panel. Now, in other die cuts, there are also those uh, little uh, geotags, geotags, I don't know how you call that, but uh, there are in different colors, so I'm going to pick two of them and try to decide which one would go perfect with my card. Now, what is great about this card is that you can actually put those uh, little uh, tags on um, different areas, depending on where you are or uh, where the recipient lives. So, you can add two if you wish, so just showing you an idea here. For my card, I will go only with one of those and I'm going to place it exactly where I live. And uh, I decided to go with the red one just because it is going to pop up against that background. So I'm going to use some tape at the back and I'm going to stick it on top of grease. Now I'm going to add even more die cuts from this uh, uh, included in the kit. So I will go with uh, three sentiments that uh, are white on black. And uh, the one says hello, another one says miss you, and the last one says love you. So I'm going to stick them on different areas all over my panel. Now the fun thing about uh, all the three cards that I am sharing today is that I haven't done any stamping. So I just thought that just because this is a part of a blog hub, there are going to be loads and loads of ideas on how you can use that uh, stamp set included in the kit. And I always get emails from people that they struggle on how to use pattern papers. So just because I love pattern papers and this is one uh, great paper pad, I thought that it would be great to show you how you can come up with three quick and easy cards just by using pattern paper as your focal point. So as you can see, I'm finishing up my card. I have created my card base by using one of the cardstock that was included in the kit. And uh, that's a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I have added foam tape at the back of my panel and then I'm going to stick that on top of my card base. Now notice that my panel is slightly smaller than the card base, which gives me that beautiful border. And that's the first card for today. And now let's move on to the second card, which is going to be even quicker and easier. So I have cut out again a rectangle panel and I used one of uh, the pattern papers included in the paper pad. Now, if you don't want to get this kit, I definitely recommend you to check out the paper pad. I think it's beautiful and pretty much all the pattern papers make a card on their own. So that's what I'm going to do. I have uh, decided to pair this beautiful pattern paper with the red cardstock that was included in the kit and again, I I always like to have my panels smaller than the standard card, so I always get a, a nice border that really finishes off the card. So I have brought in the stamp set from the card kit only to do the sentiment. And again, uh, you can use sentiments from the die cuts if you don't want to do any stamping at all. So I decided to go with one that says sending our. And uh, then I'm going to use the stickers included in the kit to write the word wishes. So my sentiment is going to be a mix of uh, stamping and stickers saying sending our wishes. 
and I'm going with the same look as the die cuts included in the kit, so I want to have the sentiment white on black just like I did for my previous card and that's why I'm going to white emboss my sentiment. So I'm using a scrap piece of uh, black uh, cardstock there, I'm going to apply some white embossing powder, I'm going to use my heat gun to set everything and then I'm just going to use my scissors and cut out a little strip of that uh, sentiment. The black is going to help the sentiment pop out against that beautiful pattern paper. I'm going to stick that with tape and now I'm going to bring in the letters and just spell the word wishes. And I truly believe that sometimes we overthink of the design of a card but uh, when you go simple you will be able to make many cards quick and easy but still beautiful and especially with pattern papers that are beautiful on their own just like I did with this card. And let's move on to the third card. For that I'm using another beautiful pattern paper from the pad. I have created a slightly smaller rectangle just like I always do and I'm going to stick that on my card base. And for the card base I have used the rest of the cardstock that I had left over from the first card. Now the good thing about using the Alte New tape is that uh, if you make a mistake you can always peel it off but once you press it down it's nice and permanent. Now in the kit there is a beautiful uh, frame die and you can see how intricate and elegant that uh, die is. I think it's a great die to have in your stash, especially if you are a scrapbooker, you can add small photos. I have cut it out of uh, the gold pattern, uh, gold cardstock that was included in the kit and I have also cut it out of white so that I can stick one on top of the other just to add a little bit of um, dimension and make, it, make my element a little bit thicker. You can go three or four times layering this frame which is going to give even more dimension. And I think that this is the only way to add dimension on uh, such a, an intricate die because it's super <laughs> difficult to add foam tape at the back. So now I am going to use this die cut that was included in the kit but I don't want to have those uh, green and white stripes all around them. So I am going to cut them out with my scissors. And the idea is to frame this die cut but as you can see it's quite small for my frame but this is not really a big problem I am going to use a white scrap paper to cover up the bottom and of course there is a seam there that shows at the front so I need to somehow cover up that uh, seam and this is why I'm going to use one of those die cuts that was included in the kit that says thank you and again it's uh, the same style as uh, the ones that I used for the first card, so it's uh, white on black. Now I'm going to stick that on an angle just for some added interest and making sure at the same time that I cover up that seam. Now I'm going to stick that on top of my card and my card is finished. And isn't that pattern paper just beautiful, I like how that uh, bird is uh, looking as if it is uh, standing at the corner of my frame. Here is a closer look and you can use a pen to tick one of those check boxes or even more or all of them if you wish, just like I did. So here is a look on all the three cards that I made for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. Don't forget to hop along the blog hop for even more inspiration and uh, make sure to visit my blog for the giveaway. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.